Welcome back to Alpha Prime. We've just barely made it through that section. It's time to... Got something. I can use uh, just the camera. Let's hack it anyways, so it's... In case we need it. There's like aliens over here. Alright. We have some non-commandos. Not as tough, but they have numbers. Hmm. Doesn't open. This feels like a great shotgun moment. Because they don't take as much damage. I can even use this from range, probably. Seriously? Okay. Alright, just a terminal. That's where I came from. Another one. And an error. No pickups anywhere. This place has like already been looted, it feels like. I mean, why did I even come in there? Didn't unlock anything, did it? Oh, button. Oh. Commandos. Oh, damn, you can't... Ah! Damn. Gotta run, gotta run, gotta run. Get to the health station. Before they catch up. There's a couple more, though. Don't have any... Oh! Better have something useful in here. Slow-mo and... Just some ammo. Basic ammo. Anyways, a little bit of slow motion. Go a long way. Seriously, I need more health. Oh. I don't want to open that door. Alright. Alright, so that's clean. This so side's clean too. No pickups. Sometimes those empty rooms are the best. That door opened. Come on. Anything in the cabinets? Nope. Yeah, so you can range kill with shotgun against those guys. Hello. Oh. Oh, I can just pick it up. That's just a hole. There's so many cabinets, but so little going on. Oh, hello there. Yoink. Oh, it just forced me through. That was weird. Was I in here earlier? This is the battery pack room. Uh, we need another battery pack for that room that has all the, the bouncing noises coming off of it. Where we're clearly going to have to deal with something potentially super... Oh, damn it. We got it. Just put it there. Can I just hit the button from here? That would make my life easy. Sneaky. That took away a lot of health. Not your lucky day. More slow mo, but that's not what I want. This isn't, this isn't a new section. It's just new baddies for some reason. I don't know why these doors suddenly unlocked. There's my battery. It was a good idea when I had it, though. 
Alright, let's get ourselves killed. Warren, you can see me on the display. Now will you open up for Hopefully this cutscene will provide me a checkpoint. Welcome to the fort, Arnold. If you've come to zap me because of her, be my guest. But first close the doors after you. I have a program here that is supposed to finish running before the soldiers get here. As far as I know, they're right on your tail. <laughs> Shame to kill you straight away. And they are right on our tail. I'd look a right fool to come all this way for just that. Hmm. It just occurred to me. So why then, Arnold? Out of curiosity? God damn it, Warren. I guess I just wanted to make her happy. And we're both idiots, Arnie. Just to make it clear, Livia is with them. She works for the company. That bitch. Real, not like those crazy naive fools who kicked the bucket here. This has been a secret from the beginning, Arnold. Oh, that guy's having trouble. <laughs> concentration of Habardium here on Alpha. Besides normal extraction, the company carried out a survey here. That's what they hired me and Livia for. But then everything went to pot. The intensity of the radiation increased, and the robots went haywire. Yeah, just keep walking towards exactly that panel. Something happened to the people here. Here in this rock, there's something that should have been left alone. You might call it Glomar, even though I'd sooner see it in terms of equations and figures. Livia just happened to be on the surface. What a stroke of luck. A stroke she of luck message, indeed. She managed to make it to an escape pod and that she would come back for me. But then I went through the records. There were 500 landing vessels here and just about all of them were wrecked. Now that's what I'd call mighty unfortunate. Only one ship got away. It took a couple of big wigs from the company and, and her. She knew about it beforehand. Why don't you ask her, buddy? I'm doing all I can to make sure she doesn't find me. And that's why you barricaded yourself in here instead of waving a hanky and letting off a couple of flares. Do you think they deliberately caused this disaster? That's one possibility. Experiments on people. But I think it's about something else. Experiments on people? Are we gonna have so to fight well mutants prepared. soon? They didn't let a single prospector escape. No leak of information, no lawsuits. But you know what? They haven't finished yet. If they got what they wanted, they wouldn't have sent in the Marines. They still haven't managed to rob the nest. Stick it up your ass. God damn it, I've never believed in Glomar's heart. <laughs> if you still want to discuss Glomar, some experts will be paying us a visit in a minute. <laughs> well, I won't be making them a cup of tea, will I? I think I'd prefer to get my rifle ready. Uh, do we get some health at least? Nope. Of course not. Damn it. How am I supposed to survive this shit one? Oh, damn. There's no way I can survive this without any sort of health. I have no clue. Is it going to start me over the entire level? Or at least put me in that room to die endlessly with half health? Oh, just start the whole level over. Isn't that wonderful? This is fucked up shit. Alright, let's just connect this battery. Warren. Skip the cutscenes and fight these bastards. With our shotgun. Oh, damn. So you can finish surfing for porn, yeah? Hey, look, they want your database of measurements. You should somehow... Hey, what do you think I'm doing? That's precisely what I'm downloading from the network. Still. Come on. That doesn't work very well. Health, please, Warren. You lead the way. I'm so dead right now. 
Oh, I think I see a health pack. Yeah! We might just live through this thing after all. That flamethrower was useless. Although cool. Did he go this way? Warren! Oh! Screw Warren. No, he went the other way, probably. No? Okay. There he goes, Warren. Actually, save. Because I don't know if I can beat that again. Alright. Okay. It's nice, just loads without any little cutscene to worry about. So let's run out of here with Warren. Or... Crash, maybe? Just back out of that crash, run around the corner, and see if it crashes again. Good work, old buddy. There we go. Now we have a moment's peace. Good work, old buddy. I deleted the database from the network. I've taken a backup copy for myself, and I'm gonna hide it somewhere safe. Any code can be broken, but if the data simply isn't there, then there's not much even Olivier can do about it. Ah, is it really good work. Good work. Using DNA? That's what a prospector told Olivier. Are you crazy? Well, it's a nice idea. To feed them such a line of crap. Gotta remember that. So level with me, Warren. Why is that damn database so important? What the hell is it all about? It's about the hearts of beautiful women. See, the heart is an huh. anomaly. A place with extremely strong radiation. You can safely call it that, even if you don't believe in Glomar. According to certain theories, Abardium is a secondary product. Originally, it was just ordinary rock, but it metamorphosized under the influence of the heart. The heart? Can you imagine what it would mean to get your hands on this heart? You don't have to sweat in the salt mines when you've got a bottomless salt cellar. You don't have to dig for gold when you've got the Philosopher's Stone. Ah. Habardium affects the human soul. All about the Habardium. It slows down time. Someone could have a lot of fun if they got their hands on the source of this substance. So why didn't they do it ages ago? All you have to do is find out where the radiation is the strongest, then simply go there and dig for a while. That's just it. This place keeps on changing. Naturally, the intensity of the radiation isn't fluctuating at random. There's a certain regularity to it. Analyses of time series indicate that the heart constantly travels via veins of Hobardium. It moves inside the rock, Ooh. but it can come to the surface somewhere in the passageway. You have to interpret the measurements over... For a sufficiently long period that was a little time, break there <laughs> able to estimate where this is going to happen next after this catastrophe the root of the heart changed without the new measurements which are here they won't find it again but we can find it you mean they already had it once almost they wanted to collect it using a robot their idea was to put it into a special box and to shield it with the force field barrier it was a wonderful plan some big shots from the company even came here so they could be here to see it but it all went wrong. It's totally obvious, Arnold, that this attempt was the direct cause of the disaster. Yep. And what are those wise men trying to do now? They give the Marines some kind of better shopping bag, or what? <laughs> they can certainly try. But it will amount to nothing. We examined Habardium's interaction with various materials. It seems that the more you isolate the heart from its surroundings, the worse the result. If you want to know what I think, the safest thing to do is just take the heart as it is, with your bare hands. That's what you'd call one hot potato. Maybe we'll get some special powers. I assume that not everybody is cut out for that sort of job. I guess a certain special resistance would be required. More like a special stupidity, don't you think? Show me the lunatic that would touch it. I'd do it if I had to. Even if it would burn my fingers to the bone. Just so they wouldn't get their hands on it. Don't count on us getting out of here, Arnold. All of us here on Alpha have been sentenced to death. They won't let us escape. But the only sensible thing left for us to do is try and get to the heart in time. To steer it into outer space. Maybe it actually is an extraterrestrial life form. Alright, now you're stretching things, be dude. Our fault, yours and mine, if we let those bastards make a quick buck out of it. Oh man. You really are a dreamer, Warren. You've become an idealist. Laugh all you want. I'm going there. With or without you. 
Psycho. Well, I'd rather have an ally shoot at those guys while I hide behind a corner and reload. Yeah, I recognize him. He's the prospector from, from the south sector. Doesn't look like the radiation has affected him. He's wounded. Wait, I'll open up for him. Paolo Bellini? No, no, wait. How could he have survived? Wait, Warren, it's not possible. It's a trap. It's a... Warren Reynolds, don't move. Get your hands up. Now they've captured him. Can't use that. So we'll have to track down Warren in our next episode, so join me then.